everyone, it's me Zina Sophia and I'm so happy to see you here for another weekly vlog, me living in Japan and yeah, just a few little things actually have, but not so much. So I was like baking a little bit, cooking a little bit, I am editing right now the weekend trip to Isu where I have been with a couple of friends which was just so, so so beautiful, amazing, delicious, funny and, and just everything but yeah just give me a little bit more time because I really 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 want to make a some kind of nice travel video so that you actually want to go there. Other than that Brina and me we have been to Kamakura which is just like 10 to 15 or even 20 minutes away from the train station where we are living nearby and it was just so so nice. I got a little bit sunburned but we really wanted to go out since the ban was lifted, no state of emergency anymore in Japan and we just needed to go out together to the beach and we just yeah we spent all day long we were sunbathing and just just had a really 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 good time i well i collected some shells which was kind of nice and uh, i actually always did that so in my like, entire life i was always always collecting stones little rocks uh, some branches or some little sticks and just yeah just kept them as a little memory because when i have something small I really do kind of remember the entire day and it's just it's just such a good feeling. I stumbled once into the kitchen I was just about to make some tea as usual because I, I I'm just a tea addict so I'm not really addicted to a lot of things but since I was a little girl I really like regular tea or black tea or hocha. One of the first things that I actually learned in Japanese was uh, <laughs> was, was the name of the tea that I really fancy a lot and it's actually right there over there on my desk I just made a fresh bottle because I continue very soon with some work for everyone who doesn't know I'm actually an illustrator concept artist background artist interior exterior whatever it is for 2d animation series and games and movies and so that's what I what I just love to do it's, it's drawing and of course editing making videos so everything that has something to do with art I just love to do I just love to create and so I applied for a small freelance job I always wanted to make another children's book and it's such a cute story I can't tell you a lot about it because I had to sign a contract but when it's out I definitely gonna tell you about it because I just feel so good too work on something like that together with someone who is also very dedicated to create really nice and cute stories and so I'm allowed to draw it and to do all the layout and composition and color palette and a little bit of character design and landscape design and <sighs> yeah it just it feels really really good but of course it's just having less time spending on getting better in videography that I am really into. Ah, oh, gosh, I, I wish I would have all the equipment that I would like to have because I really would like to go to the beach and have like a drone and a GoPro next to the camera so that I can do up shots and underwater shots and just really cool like transitions and that's... I mean, I know it's not necessary to make a really good video but it's definitely helping a lot and I really wanted to do that for a long long time now but every single time I was like oh I have to decide whether I go to Japan or do I want to spend all my money on really nice equipment so I decided of course to go to Japan because it just was just such a big dream of mine and it's still beautiful and great even though there are some little obstacles that I have to overcome but yeah it's I just I just love it here and yeah to think about it that I maybe have to leave in a couple of weeks or months or well next year when the visa is uh, yeah has expired it makes me sad because of COVID-19 we didn't really have the time to see or to explore or to do as much as we wanted to of course some museums and restaurants and more and more things are opening again but still it's like Oh, three months of waiting and now of course applying for a lot of jobs and waiting for getting a proper job so that I can save up more money to do actually all the things that I wanted to do. Anyhow, the camera died! Yay! Yay! Or better, the battery just died, my little Canon battery and I didn't check on it before so sorry in case the composition frame 
Ming or whatever it is is a little bit different now and now you know why of course I didn't only want to go to Isu or Kamakura or visit Rodi in Tokyo because he's living there and it's really cool to hang out with him so check out his channel by the way no, I also wanted to go to Hakone or Nikko or Nagano or to the south, to the very, very south Okinawa, but yeah, we couldn't do that. And I was like, okay, we, we need to find a job first. After that, we can do lots of more exploring. And so therefore, even though I really don't like to do that, but it would be so amazing in case you didn't subscribe yet. If you could do that because I try very hard to reach the first 1,000 subscribers oh, sorry <laughs> it really it means a lot to me because with that I actually can monetize my videos and with that I can earn a little bit of money so that I actually can do all the stuff that I would like to do of course it's it's like a half selfish way so of course of one on one side I really would like to do all the all the things but on the other side, I really want to share with you, I really want to show it to you, but when I'm still, or when I just stay at like 180 or 190 or 200 or 999 subscribers, it doesn't make things easier. And since YouTube changed that kind of rule that you need to have 1000 or 4000 um, minutes of video stuff, I don't earn anything so I love what I do already but it's always a good feeling to to get something back so don't get me wrong I really I'm god thank you so much that we are now 181 plus me on that channel and that people are actually commenting oh my god I love that and you guys are liking or even disliking the videos from time to time thank you so much because yeah with that it's it's just like every single time when someone does that it it's just a really good feeling because i i i reach people i reach you i reach of course family i reach friends i reach new friends and so i really want to create a community with what i do with the vlog but how does it work living in japan and travel videos and how to do videos packing list or how to live sustainable while you are in japan and everything is just wrapped in plastic and how to avoid it or how to recycle properly or whatever it is i really want to share it but it, yeah like i said it's just very difficult when you have a full-time job maybe working freelance next to it and making videos in between maybe or in Japan tabun because tabun means maybe having just four five maximum six hours of sleep every single day for a couple of weeks a month it's of course it's getting tiring but on the other side it's just like I really want that I really want to do that and I really want to follow my dreams and I really want to make you happy and I really want to make me happy and yeah so that's for 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 that kind of topic um, so yeah thank you so much thank you so much that you're still with me or that you're new here so yeah just let's get connected and let's go together and let's explore together and let me show you my side of how I, I see things and I'm really sorry by the way that the aircon is on that there is a noise but right now it's like 33 degrees outside and no no wind no beautiful little half cold warmish draft nothing and it's very humid so there is the noise I'm sorry but no sorry <laughs> Other than that, I hope that you had lots of fun. I'm gonna show you a little bit, already a little bit more of the beautiful trip to Isu. And without further ado, don't forget to hit the notification bell, like, subscribe to my channel if you didn't do it already, leave a comment down below, and I hope I'm gonna see you next time. Matane, and bye bye. Wow, happy tea.